Just talking to Christian about the script, you know, he took us on, you know, little trips around Los Angeles, showing where he would like to shoot, showing us the feel of the movie, and I've never seen a director more prepared to shoot a movie than this first time director ever. I've known Christian for a long time, and I read this script of when he first wrote it a while back, and uh, we've always pro or he always promised and that we would work together and I'd be in it, and it took a long time to make, and it was incredibly special to show up on the set, um, a huge set that this is, I'm Dead of Thieves, so that my, my good friend Christian wrote the script, and it finally came to fruition. It was, it was it's really special. I got chills just talking about it right now. We're looking for just very, very specifically trying to get people that fit the world, but we were very specific about the look and the whole energy and the vibe. Um, and we tried to pop it with people that you weren't so used to seeing, so it felt very like authentic and real. Um, and everybody just, you know, we spent a lot of time in prep, and um, they all hung out a lot together, did a lot of training, and they just all, you know, by the time we were shooting, they were all in character. They, they did a phenomenal job. The cast is incredible. We just spent tons and tons of time you know, on their characters, talking about where they're from, what they wear, what cars they drive, their backgrounds, what kind of training they had. And, you know, we had boot camps. We trained the guys a lot, but we got their bodies very specifically, a certain kind of type of workouts we did. Um, and it just all kind of went from there. The film is not a true story, per se, but it's based on sort of a, an amalgam of true stories. Um, and it's all the characters are based on people that I know. And the world is very, very, the world that the, the movie is set in is very, very specific, and I wanted to really capture it accurately. I'm on Team Outlaw, you know what I'm saying? But I, it's, it's definitely, it's interesting, it's a thin line between uh, the, when law enforcement becomes criminal to combat criminal behavior. So, you know, it's, it's, it's no good guys in the movie. It's, it's a set of, two sets of bad guys fighting for different reasons. Oh man, it was great, you know I mean? I've, I've had a, an opportunity, I've been blessed with working with some really talented people, you know, so Gerard, I'm just adding him and Pablo Schreiber and O'Shea to the list of people that I've, I've come across so far. I would compare it to Heat, to Town, but I would compare it to Usual Suspects, you know, and in a different way, the, the suspense and the different turn, twists and turns in it. So I think, I think it's great, man. I'm, I'm proud of the project and I want to see it be successful. It's crazy, it's awesome, it's fun. You got Gerard, you got 50, you got a lot of guns. If you like that stuff, you're in for a good time. It's a very smart script. Um, it's super fun. You never know which way it's gonna go. It's, it's dark, it's gritty, and it surprises you to the very end. You know, it's visceral fun, and it, it's, it's not a genre. I can't lie, it's never been done before but I feel this is a very fresh and timely version of it. And it's really like it's an epic saga. Oh, he was everything. I mean, he wrote it, he, he directed it. He's been a friend of mine for years. I'm very proud of him. And um, nobody more descriptive, both in the script and in the directing phase, of pulling you in and really showing you that the, the, the truth of these characters and keeping it down and grounded and authentic and allowing you to go on a journey and allowing you to take the audience on this incredible journey that I, they, you won't forget. You know, actually, we paid a lot of attention to that, made sure that the gangs were separated from the very start. We didn't really socialize so much together. We were trained our guys by the military and, and different techniques and then, uh, you know, uh, or their guys, the outlaws and the regulators, we were the LA Sheriff's Department, we were trained by undercover cops and a couple of the guys from the Sheriff's Department, again, in separate techniques to show these subtle distinctions and how these guys go to war, how they think. And then you also go to town with a script that really has fun with the, both the differences and the similar, similarities that you get in these, these two, effectively these two gangs. Christian Gudegast, our director writer, was smart enough to bring um, us out about a month before, and we kind of did uh, before filming. We kind of did a whole big boys camp training, and so the chemistry that you see on camera is 
it's real life. It's you know we didn't we were fortunate not to show up and like introduce ourselves and then start working, but we really built like a strong brotherly bond and and everyone all these guys say that they've never had that on a film. I've never had it. If you want to learn about what a, a combination of a writer and director is, you read this script, you see this movie, and then you see the dedication and determination of so many people involved over the years, and um, we're very happy with the results. Christian saw every character very distinct from one another. Um, we talked about it in our first meetings, and I think we would keep meeting regularly and talk about it uh, throughout. We were all encouraged to come up with different um, perspectives for our characters, ways that we saw it, ways that we could differentiate one from another. So many things to look forward to in this film, but one of the biggest things I think is the director just did an incredible job of creating so much tension. There's this tension building, 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 then there's action, but then the, the tension doesn't dissipate in these moments, and then it just culminates in the end, and it's crazy. I feel like we haven't seen a movie like this in a long time, since the movies like Heat and things of that nature. Oh man, first of all, it's star studded, action packed. It's a it's a complex crime, uh uh what, what, what's the word? Heist movie. And uh it forces the, the audience to pay attention. And I think that's something that's missing in some films. You know, it's too laid out for you. You think you know what's gonna happen when you see the poster, and you can't do that with Den of Thieves. It's a nice little feud Gerard built between us. Uh it added something to uh, all of our energy on set, and it's great. It's as great as possible. <laughs> It's cool to work with Gerard. Uh, he and I had worked with the same uh, uh, coach over some years, Aaron Spicer. So it was, it was cool to connect with him a little bit on that. And it was a fun experience doing Dinner Thieves because I had such a professional to work with. We got a lot of uh, physicality between our scenes, but he was more than professional asking me how far I could go. And, uh, you know, me being the, the young guy against the vet, I wanted to show him that I could go a little bit further than he think I can. <laughs> Man, you can look forward to being on the edge of your seat. You might be out of breath at the end. I happen to be the leader of the outlaws, uh, you know, and we're trying to uh, rob the Federal Reserve Bank of Los Angeles, which is, uh, if you're going to pick a, a difficult crime, then that's the one you want. Gerard uh, comes committed to everything he does. Uh, they call the character Big Nick, so uh, he literally got very large for this movie. Uh, he's a big presence uh, on set and off. Uh, he's also one of the producers of the movie, so he, he wanted to keep us separate to create this uh, sort of healthy competition vibe, which I thought lended itself quite well to what ended up in the final product of the movie. It was really important for this movie that uh, every time you see us in operation, the donut shop opening scene, the corridor uh, gunfight scene at the end, that this is a crew that moves with precision. You know, they look like they've done this for their whole their whole lives. Uh, and to move like that with weapons that are as uh, sophisticated as that, you have to learn them. So we took the time to learn them. We took the time to, to learn how to move as a team, make it look efficient and, and well done. And, um, and, you know, I think that, that ends up uh, adding to the film in a great way. I wouldn't be here without Christian, as you know, Mark and I have both been involved in this movie for, for close to 14 years, and, and as Mark was saying as we were crossing the street, if you read the original script and you see the movie, it's the same thing. I mean, it, it hasn't changed. So without Christian, who wrote the script and directed it, we wouldn't be here. They can look forward to a, a really fun ride with lots of twists and turns, a ton of action, and great acting.